Hey everybody, it's More Crafts back from another video. Um, I have a lot to show you guys. Um, so this might be a long video, so grab your drink, um, sit down, relax, and let's get started. So I have a craft haul that I'm going to be showing you guys. Um, I did go to the dollar store and get some things um so i have those to show you and i have I'm trying to reach over here so i don't forget nothing and i have some finished objects three and i have several works in progress so we'll do the work or the finished objects first since I only have three of them. But before I get into that, I want to say a huge shout out to my friend Brittany. She was the creator behind Wool Makes. And hopefully you guys can encourage her to start making videos again because I really miss them. Um as well as my friend Christina. Um, I really miss her videos also, so hopefully she can get back into making videos too. So, go over and cheer them on. Um, so yeah. So let's get into, oh, I also wanted to say a huge thank you to everybody who has subscribed to my channel, who was new to my channel, and of course the OGs who have been around for a long time. So now let's get started. So I have my bin here. I'm going to kind of set that right there. So I finished one hat. Um, this is actually my mom's hat. My mom always has her hair in a bun. So I made her a hat that has a bun hole. Um, now when I finished this hat, um, I finished it off and if you hear stuff, uh, it's kind of, our weather today has been pouring all day. By the way, it is Friday the 4th and it's 2.43 in the morning. Um, so it poured all day today. Then tonight it's supposed to turn into a mixture with rain and snow. And then sometime today it's supposed to turn to just snow. So as of right now I'm still going to Graham's. But I'm not 100% sure if I really am going to Graham's or not. Or if the roads are going to be too bad by the time... I go to Graham's or not. So right now, going to Graham's is kind of up in the air. But anyway, so this hat pattern is the True Love Beanie, and there's little hearts. Um, I picked these two colors, and my mom really, really likes it. So, like I said, I completely finished the top. It was um, solid up here, but mom likes to have her hair in a bun when she goes out so I took it apart and made it a bun hat so she'll be happy that she can finally get this hat this has been done for like two weeks but but yeah and the other two things I have finished is I finished some shawls um so if you follow Rose with Rose Likes Crochet um, she does the organization donations for wings. And in March, um, she, uh, needs, uh, lightweight shawls made with DK or sport weight yarn. So I have a lot of mandala that I'm not using and I would like to really get it out of my stash. So I decided to make a bunch of shawls with the mandala and the cupcake and any other three weight yarn that I can find in my stash. So the first shawl I did, well this isn't the first one, but it's just a simple basic granny um, 
granny triangle shawl. And I just ran until I couldn't make any more solid rows. And I have no idea what half of these colors are. This is an older one. I think it might be troll. Possibly. But, so I just used a 6 millimeter hook for this. And what I'm planning on doing is folding this up really nice. Okay. And I got some bags. Now, I don't know if this is going to work like I think it's going to work. But, so I got some bags. Alright. My thinking is, I'm a really good vacuum sealer. When I used to work, um, they'd always get me to vacuum seal the stuff. So I got some new bags. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the shell in the bag, zip it up a little bit, and then squeeze the air out of it so that I can get more, um, so that I can get more shells in the box instead of just, like, folding them up and laying them in there. So hopefully with this way, I can get a lot more in because we're not taking up that much space. So, um, I got these ones at the dollar store and there's nine in here. So I will be able to hopefully make nine, no, 18 shells. So I have, this is what I'm going to do. And I think I'm just going to let this one in there because, um, yeah. And I have this much left of the ball or of the cake um so i'm not really sure i think what i'm gonna do is maybe i have no idea i thought about cutting it apart and using it as some stuffing for smaller amigurumis but i have no idea what i'm gonna do with these little balls and then the second one i have finished is this one here this is technically the first one i did and this is another granny, granny stitch shawl, um, using a six millimeter hook. So I have two of those. So I'm well on my way. And this is all I have left of this, that one. So, so yeah. So those are my finished objects. Now let's get on to whips and I'm going to show, so, um, I have been working a little bit on my every girl sweaters right now. They're not like, uh, an, a necessity or that's not the right word for it. They're not really, I don't really need them right now and they're for myself so I can work on them, you know, whenever, whenever I want. But I was working on them, um, like a couple days ago. And then I was watching Rose from Rose Likes Crochet. And she had the list for this year for wings up until November. So I was reading it. And then, yeah, for, that's when I saw that March, um, she needs, uh, some lightweight shawls with Worst or not, no worsted, no bulky, just light three weight yarn. So, um, so like I was saying about my sweaters, is I got two panels done. So, ba right now I'm working on three sweaters for myself. Two of them are striped, colorful, and the third one is scraps. So, I got the one done. So, here's the one panel. And I cannot see you, so hopefully you can see it. So this is the back panel. And I made it a lot, little bit longer. Um, I did 46 rows instead of what they called for, which is 39. And I make the large for myself. So, um, so yeah. So I did 46 rows and I use a five millimeter hook for it 
for them because I've made more than one. And I make a V-neck for mine because I don't like nothing up against my neck. So, um, so I make a V-neck for mine. But here's this, this is the front panel. And on either side, well, on the side I end with, I end with a long tail. Because I use that long tail to sew those colors, to that, that stripe together. And then when I attach them, I'm going to show you how I do this. So as you can see, a lot of the tails are on this side compared to this side. So whatever side one of them is, I always put the most with the less and the last with the most. So that way, when I go to sew it together, I have a long tail on each side to sew it up with. So, see like the red. Okay, so the red is attached to this one, but there is not a long red over here. It is on this side. So I just wanted to l tell you guys that little tidbit um, cause that's what I do um, when I make these sweaters is wherever I fasten off or whenever I do that many rows for that color or however many rows you want to do for that color. When you end, leave a long tail long enough that you can sew those two, those two, the two panels together with that color. Um, and then you don't have the strand showing through of a different color. So that's number one. And I got this far on the second one. And I use stitch markers, um, like progress keepers to mark my rows. So every 10 rows, I put a stitch marker on. So then that way I don't have to keep counting one, two, three, four. You know, so on. I can just go 10, 20, 30, and so on. So this is how far I got on the second sweater. I am on row 27, I think. And I have to finish up this row. And it will... 1, 2, 3... And then I have to finish up that little bit. And this side will be done for this color. And then I can add my second color, or my next color. Okay. Um, so now I'm going to show you my other whips. Now my other whips, I have started six shawls today. Um, and another thing is on my YouTube, I am going to start linking a playlist for all the things that I am currently making that have a play that has a YouTube video. Um, so it's going to be called makes list and I'll link it below. It has all the shows I'm working on plus the every girl sweater tutorial. So that way, if you want to make one of the shawls or you want to learn how to do the every girl sweater, you can go to my playlist and find them. Now I'm going to tell you right now, I started so many shawls that I don't even remember what all of them are called. And my phone is like 10%, so I am not going to be able to tell you what they are. Um, so, yeah. So this one is like a granny sh oh. I can tell you, I think most of them are by Fiber Flux. I think, okay. One of them is another granny, granny sh triangle shawl. It starts in the center and works its way down. One is that one. The other ones are either by Hooked by Robin or Fiber Flux. This one here is by Fiber Flux. It starts at the bottom 
and works its way up. So the more rows you do, the bigger it becomes. So this cupcake, or this is cupcake. I have no idea what the color is. I think it's street lights maybe. I don't know. So I'm using a six millimeter hook for all of these. Um, but yeah, so this is that, this one. And I have a stitch marker holding my place. So there's that one. I have, oh, and I got um, bigger bags. I got two gallon bags uh, for some of my bigger projects because I knew I wanted to do shawls. So I got those. This one is also from Fiber Flux, and I stopped in the middle of a row. But it looks like this, which you can't really see. It's basically a double V stitch and it starts down here at the bottom and works its way up. So I started this one. So this one is a double V stitch one. Um, and then the third one, sorry for the rustling and crinkling and stuff, is just a granny square triangle shawl again. And I'm using, I think this one is like Narnia. It's like the baby colors. So... Those are those three. I'm gonna shove these back in my bag and set them over there. And then my last three are these ones. So there's this one, and this is in a V stitch shawl. Um, can you guys tell I like the V stitch? I mean, every single. Every video I do, I swear to God, there's a V-stitch thrown into one project. So this is this one. Tail in the back. So, yeah. I'm really enjoying shawls. Um, I used to make a lot of them. And then I started getting into, like, hats and blankets and things like that. And here's this one. This one's really pretty. This is the first one I started. And then I'm like, I have other cakes that I want to use. So then I started all of these. So, so yeah. And then this one right here also, I can tell you the colorway of this one. Oh, and this one here is Spring Break. Has all these real bright colors in. And this one here is called Forest Path. Um, and this one is another one that works from the bottom up. So, so yeah, this one's really pretty too. So, so those are all of my shawls that I have started. Plus, when, if I go to Graham's today... I, play, I have a lot of um, mandala and cupcake yarn up there too. So I plan on starting some more up there. And I might not get to show them this weekend. But definitely next weekend I can show you them at the Grams. My other two finished objects are not crochet related. And I wasn't sure if I was going to add anything else to these or not. But I got my paints out the other day and I made two signs for myself. One says more crafts and the other one says crazy knots. Crazy knots is my Instagram uh, where I talk about my friendship bracelets. Um, so yeah. So here's the more crafts one. It's greens and blues. I thought this was really pretty. And so I did a little experiment. I got some craft markers um, at the dollar store, the dollar, the dollar General. And I colored this one with those. And you can see my lines are so much cleaner. And this one is my Crazy Knots. And I use yellows and oranges and reds. And um, I use paint with this one and as you can see it's kind of blotchy so I definitely prefer the marker method to the paint method so if you would like I'm actually make gonna if anybody would be interested um, I'm gonna make some signs 
So if you want to sign, um, let me know. And I can definitely get that made for you. Um, you just have to tell me like what you want on it and the colors that you want for the background. I'm also... I got a hot glue gun in my... Um, in my haul. Because I had one here, but then I had to take it to my Grams to work on a, um, a wreath for on one of my family members' grave sites. So, um, so I just got one for here. But I'm gonna, um, put a tie, a little one right here in the middle, so that I can hang it on my wall back here. And I'm probably gonna do it over in this area. I got a, um, one of those peg signs, but you can't even read what it says back there. It just says crazy knots and more crafts. So what did I get at the store? So, like I said, I went to the dollar store to get some, um, canvases and, um, some little, uh, glass jars for my keychains that I want to make. But I also got some more of these detailing scissors. Now, I love these scissors. They are perfect for um, cutting your ends, snipping off your little ends. They're perfect for pretty much anything craft related. So I got two more pair because you can never have too many scissors. If you're anything like me, you tend to lose them. Um, I also got two correction pens. Now you're probably wondering, why did I get correction pens? And I'll tell you. So, I also do oil um, drawings and stuff. And some of the ones that I want to do, uh, they use correction pens to put like details like in the moon, in the water, clouds, things like that. So I got one for here and one for my grams. Just drop that one. Now onto my little glass bottles. Now if you watched my last little video, you would know that I'm going to be making some keychains that is, um, that have some glitter in it, like sensory, sensory, um, little keychains. But I'm also going to be making some keychains that has little knitting needles and little crochet hooks in them with embroidery floss. So I'm going to be making some of these into keychains. Um, I just got the bottles, so, um, yeah. So I got two packs of the little teeny tiny mini ones. So there's six in each. So I got some of those. I got two packs of the medium sized ones and there's seven of those in there. And I got two of the big boys, the big ones. And there's six each of these in there. So I got some of those. The other thing I got is a glue gun. And my gram is the one that, that picked out the, um, the glue sticks. Because when we went to the dollar store, they did not have... All they had was the, um, they had the glitter glue sticks. And I'm like, I don't want the glitter glue sticks. I want, I want, you know, the regular, the regular ones. So she got glue sticks. I'm not even sure if these are the right size. But while we're on camera, I'm going to test one out and make sure it is. Yeah, it'll work. I think they're a little small, but but I think they'll work. So 
so. So yeah, she w did get me two packs, and then she found a bigger pack because the two, the small. She got me. She got me a pack, and there was only like maybe ten in it. And then she found this pack that has 30 in it, so she got me this pack. The next thing I got was, this was definitely an impulse buy. I thought these little freaking llama clothespins with cactuses were freaking adorable. So, of course, I had to get them because, come on, they're llamas and cactuses. What am I going to do with them? I have no idea. I just thought they were adorable. I also got some um, tape because you never can have too much tape. So I got like this little uh, polka dot one and then I thought this one right here was like really really pretty. And then I saw this one and this one has freaking llamas on it. So I got it too. And then we went to, I went to Walmart too and got some lobster clasps. Now, I did order some lobster clasps and lever backs off of Amazon because Walmart has them in the jewelry making section where all the findings are, but you only get four of them for like six bucks. And Joann's, you can get um, six, eight, and 14 of them and the 14 ones are like three dollars three or four dollars so I got 300 lever backs coming and a hundred lobster clasps coming so I bought these ones because um, I don't know why I bought these but I just got them because I'm gonna be making some beaded stitch markers here Probably, um, I don't know exactly when I'll be making beaded stitch markers, but I got some new patterns and I want to do them, but I just haven't really felt like doing bead weaving. Um, so, but I definitely need to get back into bead weaving because a lot of people seem really interested in those stitch markers. Um, and I have some new items that are in the shop over on uh, Facebook, uh, my Facebook shop, More Crafts. So you can go over there and check them out. Now, what else did I get at the Dollar Tree? Well, since I've been doing a lot of painting, I uh, was running pretty low on canvases. So I went to the Dollar Store. Which is where I like to get my canvases because they're a little bit better by than, well, I probably wouldn't say that. You get a lot more if you go to regular Walmart and stuff. But I was there, so I got some. So I got two packs of the four by six inch and there is three pieces in each of those. So I got one for grams and one for here. Because I got um, paints for up at Graham's. Or, well, I was going, we were going to, my mom's friend was going to come down and get us today and take us to Walmart. But since we're getting the bad weather, we decided that we're going to try to go tomorrow, or Monday. So, yeah. So then I got three packs of the five by sevens and there's two pieces here there's two pieces in each of these so I got those I also got some square ones and these ones are eight by eight and I got four of them two will stay here and two will go to Graham's and then the this size, because this is the size that I really, really like, it's an 8x10. So I got a lot of these. I got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 
I got nine of them. So some will stay here and some will go to Graham's. So I got a lot of those. At Walmart, since I've been doing some oil pastel painting, well, I got some paper and it turns out that it's not the right paper. Um, it's all media, which you would have thought it would, would work, but it does not. So the paper that I got, um, before was all media. And when you use oil pastels, you're supposed to be able to take a paper towel or a tissue, to like toilet paper, tissue paper, and fold it a, a, what, a certain way into a little triangle. And then you're supposed to be able to smooth it out. Um, with the, with t with the tissue paper. Well, it's not working. I tried, yeah, I tried it. I even got some oils, like an oil to, um, use on it. And the oil works fine. It's just, it seeps really, really bad through the paper. And it doesn't really blend that well. So then, I was looking... So I was looking, um, so there's a, a, a person that I watch, it's Deepak's Arts and Craft, Art and Crafts, and he d shows a lot of, like, how to do, um, oil pastel paintings and drawings, and I saw, you know, what he was, I saw the paper he was using, and he's using watercolor paper, cold press. And that's exactly what this is. So, there, there, it says there's 12 sheets in here. But what I'm going to do is, I don't need pieces of paper this big. So, what I am going to do is, I am going to take these pieces of paper. And I don't know if this is going to work or not. But I'm going to cut it in half. First I'm going to probably fold it in half and get a line. But this is some really, really thick paper. And it does not look like the paper he uses. But I'm going to give it a try. And see how it works. So with 12 pieces of paper in here, I should be able to try to get um, 24 drawings out of this. That is if I don't mess them up. Um, but I did not realize that there was only 12 pieces of paper in here. If that was the case, I probably would have gotten a bigger one. But. First of all, I probably wouldn't have gotten that because I want to see if it actually works first. So, but yeah, I'm just going to fold them and cut them in half because I don't need pieces of paper this big just to oil pastel draw on. And, um, the first one I think I'm going to do is probably like a moon or a sunset or, you know, something along those lines. Now, I'm only going to cut, I think, six sheets of this. Just because I just want to take a couple of them up to my grams. And then we'll see how... We'll see how it works. Hopefully it works like he says. But I don't know. Um, see, my pack of oil pastels here at Mom's are, is big. I have like 30, 36 colors in it or something. And the one I got at the Grams only has, I think... Like... 24, I think. Or something like that. Yeah, I think it's 24. 
But I mean, I'm not doing like real heavy stuff, so. I wanted the 36 color pack, but at the Walmart I went to, they didn't have it. They just had the 24 pack, but. That's alright. So, um, that's pretty much everything that I have to show you guys. I need to get my things gathered up, um, just in case I do go to Graham's today. Like I said, it's kind of up in the air whether I do or not. Um, my mom said to Graham, um, I think she ought to just stay here. I don't want her to fall. And my Graham said, we'll see. So, how many did I do? One, two, three, four, eight, nine, ten. I have to do one more. One more, and then I'm just going to fold that back over. Might as well just leave that sit there. But before I go back over to my bed, um, I gotta clean off my desk again. I Skyped with my friend Christina the other night and I had to clean my desk off like three times in one night because I would get something out and then I had to, when I was done doing that, I had to put it away. So I had to clean my desk off like three times that night, which was not really normal for me. Usually I'm pretty good about well, usually I stick to one thing, but for some reason I just couldn't stick with one thing, so I had to, I had to do stuff. Okay, guys, I talked your ears off, and I apologize for that. So, I'm going to let you guys go. I hope you guys have a great rest of your, I hope you guys have a good morning, good afternoon, good evening, um... After I get this uploaded, I might lay down for a little bit. Um, I'm starting to get a little bit of a headache, so I might lay down and relax a little bit. Maybe watch some TV and not really work on anything. But I will talk to you guys um, later. Like I said, hope you guys have a good um, night and a good morning and yeah go over and show my friend Brittany and Christina um, Brittany is wool makes uh, so go over and show her some love and go over and show my friend Christina some love I will try to remember to link those two um, podcasts below so that was my stomach growling it's not hungry so I don't know but yeah I'll talk to you guys later Bye.